This part is continuous from last video. So if you watch my last video, you should be able to do this as well. So therefore, I want you to pause the video and try this one yourself first. So first one, to solve this, we need to factorize first. So we have positive here. So therefore, we just copy this side out. So which is x minus and x minus equals zero. So two numbers timed together must give me 12 and add must give me seven. So two and six time give me 12, but add doesn't give me seven. So three and four time together give me 12 but add give me 7 as well. So therefore, 3 and 4. So it doesn't matter where you put 3 or 4 because both are negative. So which is 3 there, 4 there. Or you can put 4 here and 3 here. Doesn't really matter. So therefore, x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 3. Now, x squared is equal to 18x minus 72. So we need to move everything on this side first. So make the whole equation equal zero first. That is one of the condition, okay? So x squared minus 18x plus 72 is equal to zero. To factorize this, it is a positive. Again, we just copy this side out. So that becomes x minus and then x minus is equal to zero. Now two numbers time together is equal to 72 and add to give me 18. So 72 is nine and what? Nine and eight, give me 72, add together 17. That's not good. And what else? Let's say four. So 72 is four times. Let's work it out, 72 divided by 4 is 18. 4 and 18, so it's add together, not good. And then what other one? So 12 and 6. So add up, give me 18. So therefore, the factor is 12 and 6. So it doesn't matter where you put it. So both are negative anyway. So 12 and 6 there. So therefore, the answer is x equals 6 or x equals 12. Next one. Now to solve this question, so what we need to do is we need to expand it first. And then you move everything on one side. Okay. So x times x, give me x squared. And then x times 10, x times negative 10 is negative 10x. And equal 24, but I do all in one go. I move this on the side become minus 24, which is equal to zero. Then we factorize this. Now to factorize this, we look at this side first step is negative. So therefore negative is different. So therefore we put one plus and then one minus. It's equal to zero. And then we ask ourselves a question, two numbers, okay, time together must give me 24 and the difference, because minus, the difference must be 10. So 12 times 2 is 24, and the difference is 10. That's right. So it should be 12 and 2. But then, because of this negative 10, so the negative number must be larger. So therefore, we put 12 on the negative side, and then 2 on the positive side. So the answer is, so therefore, x is equal to negative 2 or x is equal to 12. Next one, y squared is equal to 11 minus 24. So we move this on this side first. Again, move everything on one side. So that's become y squared is minus 11y plus 24 is equal to zero. So now this is a positive. So then we just copy whatever this side here. 
So y is minus and then y minus is equal to zero. So now we ask ourselves questions. What two numbers times together is 24 add to give me 11? So 24 is 2 times 12, 3 times 8. And then 12 and 2 add together give me 14, which is no good. And 3 and 8 add together give me 11 and times together give me 24. So the answer is 3 and 8. And doesn't matter where you put it because both are negative. So 3 and 8 here. So your answer is, therefore, y is equal to 3 or y is equal to 8. Next one. So we have 3m squared plus 6m minus 45. So first of all, you can see that 3m square and 6m and 45, the common factor is 3. So first step is you take our common factor first. But in this case, because it's equations, I can just divide every term by 3. So make it easier. So I divide this by 3, of course, this cancel out, divide by 3, that give me 2, and divide by 3 is 15. And 0 divided by 3 is still 0, so that's alright. So I just rewrite this out first. So that is m squared, I just clear this first, I need more space, okay? So 3m squared divided by 3 is equal to m squared. Now 6 divided by 3 is 2, so we just add 2m. And 45 divided by 3 is 15. And then of course 0 divided by 3 is still 0. So it becomes m squared plus 2m minus 15. And to factorize this, look at this, is a negative sign. So therefore, 1 plus 1 minus immediately, okay? Minus mean different. So different mean 1 plus 1 minus. So there you go. Equal to 0. And then what two numbers times together give me 15? And then the difference is 2. So 15 is 3 times 5 is 15. And the difference is 2. So therefore, the answer is 3 and 5. But then, because, look at this, is positive 2 here. So therefore, the larger number must be on the positive side. So which is 5 here, and then 3 here. So the answer should be, right here, therefore, m is equal to negative 5, or m is equal to 3. Next one m squared minus 2m is equal to 3m minus 4. Again, we need to move everything on one side. So we put m squared, we write it down, and this 3m might move over on this side, become minus. I just write it out first, okay? Then we simplify later. So positive 3m move over, become minus 3m. And then minus 4, move on this side, become plus 4, which is equal to zero. So now, so what do we do? We're collecting like term first. In another word, we simplify, okay? So that give me m squared minus 2m minus 3m is minus 5m. There you go. And then plus 4, I just write it down, is equal to zero. Now to factorize this, step number one, we look at this side first, is positive, so which is both sides the same. So we just copy whatever that is. So that become m minus. And then m minus, which is equal to zero. Okay, so now two numbers times together must give me four, and then add must give me five. So two times two is equal four, and then add up, give me four. No good. So four and one. Okay, 4 times 1 is 4, and then add together, it gives me 5. So therefore, the answer is 4 and 1. But because both are negative, so it doesn't matter where you put. So I just put 1 here and 4 there. So therefore, the answer is m is equal to 1 or m is equal to 4. 
Thank you so much for watching my videos.